Hello, this is Sonia from A Happy Space. Welcome back at my channel. Today, I want to continue in my junk journal. And I'm doing sort of a mini series, for those who doesn't know, about prayers in the Bible. So what prayers I come across there in my devotional or wherever. I just do a junk journal or a scripture journal entry in it. And I've got a playlist if you're interested to watch that. So what I'm going to do is I've chosen this page today. And I'm going to do a prayer, Psalm 17, which is a prayer of David, which I was reading in my sort of through the Bible. That was my scripture to read the certain day. I'm going to use my embroidery printable, sermon note printables to make an entry. I've got this beautiful washi tape I'm going to have. I've got this field flowers. And my idea is sort of almost to have a sort of just a sheet with all these field flowers with washi tape pretending I've picked it up from the field and I want to make a display. And then I'm going to make an envelope also using this pattern paper from the embroidery printables. I will leave all the printables down below if you're interested in picking it up. So um, as I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it over the page and then I'm going to put washi tape underneath it just to, as I said, to have the effect of a sort of a display of wildflowers. I, I, when I designed it, I was trying to create the effect of an embroidery, that this is embroidery flowers on the embroidery hoop. So I'm going to use some of that small little flowers in my beautiful bowl. It's a new little bowl I bought the other day. I've been looking for a little bowl to put my printables in. My other bowl fell the other day and it broke, unfortunately. So I love the strawberry. It's so cute. And I thought it was perfect to display some printables in. So I'm just using that small little small little daisies um, to spread around the, the background just to create a little bit more interest and I mean, I didn't like how bare it was. As you also can see, if I used the washi tape to put at the bottom of the flowers, as I said, just to create this effect of this nature journal I'm doing. So now I'm going to move on to the envelope. So now I've seen this method on, I think, Treasure Books. I will link her YouTube channel below. She had sort of a whole video about how you can do different um, designs of envelopes without measuring. So what you can see if I just cut it a little bit smaller because it was a bit too big the envelope and now I'm folding either sides the long sides of this paper to more or less equally and then I'm, I'm folding the bottom bit up which is a bit bigger than the top bit and I'm just almost making a simple envelope but it's going to be a little bit different than that just making sure I make it nice and straight. So you can see all these corners um, which is folded up and now I'm just tracing this is going to be the flap of the of the envelope that is going to be the sides so I'm just making either sides more or less the same so these folds give you a guideline and this is going to be your bottom so when you trace at the top for the flap just make sure you trace it high enough otherwise when you fold up the envelope, it's not going to come together. So as you can see, I'm just cutting um, more or less. And then I decided I actually want to make that flap a little bit bigger because I was worried when I fold it over, it's not going to close my whole envelope, if that makes sense. So now I'm just folding it over and then you've got this interesting looking envelope. And I love how it turned out. I just didn't like the black lines. I used black so you guys could see on the video where the lines is. If I use pencil, that would have not worked. So I'm going to try to sort that black lines out. Then I've decided I actually want to cut that little excess bit out. So I just glued to the top. So I'm going to show you on the other side. I've just made a mark actually to make it make sure I do it straight. And I'm just cutting straight through there. And as I said, I'm just cutting that axis bit off. You don't have to do that, but I just thought it looks better without it. So then I'm just gluing it up. And then as you can see, when I'm going to fold over my flap, it's not going to reach totally um, the top. Oh, it's not going to close everything. You can see some white bits. So that's fine. But I just decided just to bring it a little bit more down, as you can see. And then I've decided to cut that black lines up. Because I brought it down, it was actually filling the whole space. I hope that makes sense. It Obviously, it looks better or you can understand it better when you look actually at the video. So I'm just cutting the black lines up. So when you do it, I would recommend you to do it with pencil. So I've got my envelope. I like how it turned out. The fact that you don't have to do any measurements. And now I'm going to sort of make a little thread. I 
left or accident i think an eyelid closed that's what you call it so maybe it's not an eyelid closed because i didn't use an eyelid but yeah you will see what it is when i do it so i'm just cutting some um circles from my whole punch and i'm putting a cut four out and i'm putting them on top of each other just to make it more sturdier that's for no other reason so i've got these two things i'm going to put one um, on top of the flap and one at the bottom of the flap so and then i've got these um i actually can't think now what the word for it is um drop me a message down below i'm just now blank but you know what i mean these little pokey things that you sort of spread the legs of it on either side so i'm just putting that through there so obviously what you can do is you can maybe cover that whole bit if you don't want that sharp bits to poke up but if you put it flat and i've just decided to put some washi tape over it i mean this is just for me i'm not selling it or anything if i was selling it or giving it as a present i probably would have sort of covered it more properly and then i'm going to do exactly the same for the bottom one just put um, a hole through there and then put that thingy which i can't remember what name it is also through it and um and also i'm just going to go straight through it yet again if you actually plan in advance you can maybe actually first do it and then make the envelope so you don't have that sharp bit at the bottom but as i said i'm just using it for myself and i'm then i'm just using this twine and i'm going to just wrap it around it so that is my enclosure for the envelope and i love how it turns out the fact that you don't have to do any measures so now i'm just hoping it fits yeah it does fit it's not too big so i'm going to i'm um, just put there at the bottom because i thought it it lends itself to, to sort of plants and seeds and i thought i'm just going to put these seeds of prayer um i just wanted to use it um do it and i love this alpha puffy stickers which is part of the newest or in south africa the newest rosy design i don't know always if it's a newest one um so i love the colors i think it goes perfectly so now yeah i'm going to write some sections of psalm 17 and while you watch me do that i'm going to read for you what i've written it says oh lord hear my plea for justice listen to my cry for help pay attention to my prayer for it comes from honest lips lips Declare me innocent, for you see those who do right. You have tested my thoughts and examined my heart in the night. You have scrutinized me and found nothing wrong. I am determined not to sin in what I say. I am praying to you because I know you will answer, O God. Bend down and listen as I pray. But your mighty power, by your mighty power you rescue those who seek refuge from their enemies. Guard me as you'd guard your own eyes. Hide me in the shadows of your wings. Protect me from wicked people who attack me. So a few verses stood out for me. Verse 6 is, I will pray to you because I know you will answer me. And I think that's such a good reminder that we pray that we know God answer. As I said, it can be with a yes, a no, or a wait. But he knows and he listens and he hears our prayers. And that's so comforting me comforting and then i also laugh it says um um but the power of your hand O oh lord destroy those who look to this world for the reward and we know our reward is in heaven but satisfy the hunger for your treasured ones and our hunger is for righteousness our hunger is for christ and it will be satisfied when we don't look to be rewarded in this life sometimes god will reward us in many things and he's a good god but our ultimate reward is in heaven. And that's such a beautiful reminder. And I would recommend you to go and read the whole, whole psalm. So yeah, this is my intro. I love how it turned out. I love my envelope. And I love how that um, page is of all the flowers. As I said, if you're interested to pick it up, I'll leave it down below. I'm very excited about next month's printable. It has definitely, or it is to do with junk journaling. So if you like junk journaling, I hope you're excited with me about it. So yeah, I will release that on Friday um, because that's the closest day to the 1st of August. So I'm excited about that. And thank you very much for each person who picked up my Etsy printables. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to tag me if you use it. I love to see what you do. So you must have a fantastic week. And I leave you in your close-up photos. And I talk to you on Friday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.